Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 30 of GATE DA 24 exam. Now this question is based on quick sort algorithm. We already discussed what is quick sort, what is merge sort algorithm, right? Now let us discuss this particular question. Consider sorting the following array of integers in ascending order using an in place quick sort algorithm that uses the last element as the pivot element. So this information is given to us that this particular element that is last element is basically a pivot element, right? And what we have to do? We have to find out the minimum number of swaps required, minimum number of swaps performed during this quick sort. So we need to sort this particular array in ascending order. But if you observe this array 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, it is already sorted in ascending order. So, how many swaps are required? But since it is already sorted, what will happen if I apply this quick sort algorithm to this particular array? Let's discuss that now. So, let's say A equals to this array 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. Okay. So, in this particular problem, we are going to apply the second method what we have discussed in the videos, right? not that uh, python one because even if you apply that python uh, implementation of this quick sort you will get the same answer right now let's discuss that first so here you can see this particular element is a pivot element right now i have two things here that is i and j so i is basically a left bound and j is basically a right bound now this i will travel in right direction and j will move in left direction and how if i is less than or equals to that particular pivot value then only we are going to stop the i and if j is less than and equals to the pivot value then we are going to stop the j right now let us discuss this first the value of i is 60 and the pivot is 100 so 60 is greater than pivot that is not true so i will move i here now what about next element 70 because because i is in this particular position now 70 greater than 80 no i will move i here 80 greater than 80 greater than 100 no 70 is not greater than 100 so i have moved i here 80 greater than 100 no i will move i here whether 90 greater than 100 no right then i will move i here whether 100 is greater than or equal to 100 yes now this particular condition is satisfied now i will stop the moving of i here so i is 100 here right and if you observe we already cross this j right but let's see uh, what about j so whether 90 is less than 100 yes already are true so we will not move in the left direction but what we have discussed in the case of quick sort if we cross i and j what we need to do we need to swap i with the that particular pivot value but if you observe here i is equals to p only it is pivot value so i don't require any swap here right so since this particular array is already sorted so we don't require any swapping so that's why minimum number of swaps performed during this quick sort is zero okay so this is the answer for this particular question because this array is already sorted and even if we try to apply the quick sort algorithm what will happen here i is equals to p and we need and we need to swap i and p here but since both are at the same uh, position at the same element so we don't need to swap e even if we swap that is basically the same element only right that's why we don't require uh, any swap here so number of swaps performed during quick sort is zero right and also if you uh, see if we apply that method that we have discussed in python implementation of this quick sort same thing will happen okay in that also we compare this with uh, uh, this one and then we try to uh, swap right so what will happen in that case we'll compare this uh, first array with the first one so anyway we need to swap with 60 with 60 70 with 70, 80 with 80, 90 with 90, right? So, in that case, also we don't, in that case, we are not uh, doing any swap because the 
elements are same at the same position only we are not moving the elements because this array is already sorted right and that's why even if you apply that particular thing you will get the same answer okay but i will suggest you to follow this particular method in this type of questions okay because in the python implementation we have uh, assumed that my the pivot element will be my the last element so here it is also mentioned but suppose they mention that 80 is the pivot element and in that case you need to apply this particular algorithm okay or you can just assume that uh, instead of that pivot equals to last element you can say pivot equals to 80 right then also uh, this thing will work okay so i hope you understand uh, this particular question now one homework question for you same thing every this question is same every statement is same but just i am changing this array okay so instead of this particular array i have this one 60 70 90 80 and 100 okay so this is the array i have given to you i have just simply changed 80 to 90 right now we need to sort this array in ascending order and tell me how many uh, number of swaps is required to perform uh, this particular thing okay so this one is uh, simple right now what about our next one let's take one more array so first homework second homework right i'm just saying 28 30 25 24 42 okay again uh, six elements are there five elements are there and you need to uh, apply quick sort and find out the minimum number of swaps performed to sort this particular array so this is homework one this is homework two this is homework uh, two same question just change the array okay so that's it from this particular uh, video you have to comment the answer below of these two questions i will reply to that so that's it from this particular video thank you